Intensive systems have been promoted as the cheapest way to produce large amounts of pig meat. But this is not the whole story. UK farmers have turned to outdoor breeding and now approximately one in three piglets are born outdoors. Outdoor systems are the cheapest of all to set up, saving on building costs. In addition, there is now an increasing market for free-range pork, ham and bacon. I went into free-range simply because it was the only thing I could afford to do. As far as profitability is concerned, this is the, this is, and the market is more of it moving towards us. Simply because more and more people want to see the pigs outside. They want to see the, the, the way that they're produced and believe that they're looked after better. Across the world, deep bedded systems like the one on this Brazilian farm are becoming more popular because they can be 50% cheaper to set up than intensive systems. Existing farm buildings can easily be adapted to accommodate deep bedded pigs. They suit traditional production, supporting rural livelihoods. Deep bedded systems are sustainable, producing less ammonia than slurry based systems. They encourage pigs to forage and improve their welfare. It's not expensive to set up a bit the deep bed system because you know the facilities will be so simple. You don't need the concrete or cement in, in the floor, so this is a good opportunity for that. Not only can outdoor and semi intensive systems be cheaper to set up, the meat produced can often be sold at a premium price. The promotional brochures from this farm includes photos of their pigs loose housed on straw. High welfare is part of a broader production philosophy. Quand on essaie de promouvoir une agriculture qui soit durable, qui soit acceptable, on parle d'alimentation, euh, on parle de, 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 de produits phytosanitaires, etc. Et on parle forcément de bien-être animal. Some of the more progressive supermarkets are also adopting a good agricultural practice philosophy. At Waitrose we have long-term relationships with our farmers. We know our farmers care about their animals, they care about the environment and working to our protocols to actually improve the standards. And we pay them a fair return for delivering high welfare standards, care for the environment that they're working within and ensuring that we have high quality meat. In terms of the customer demands, their sales are increasing and really do show that there is an opportunity for growing and developing this high welfare market. High welfare production is now big business. Helen Browning set up Eastbrook Farm Organics in 1989 to sell organic meat to the public from one butcher's shop. The business has now expanded, selling meat from several organic farmers. This group now has a turnover of four million pounds per year, selling under the Helen Browning brand. Branding is, is crucial, uh, in my view, if farmers are going to be paid a sensible price for their product over time. It's our way of staying a little bit more in control of what we do if we're selling through the multiple retailers. In organic farming, pigs are often part of a mixed farming system, with rotations including other crops, animals and sometimes forestry. Pigs are woodland animals. On this Swedish farm, they are used in summer to clear recently felled forest ready for planting. In autumn, they clear the land after harvest. The farm produces organic hams for the Christmas market. Like many traditional breeds, the Hungarian Mangalitsa nearly became extinct. The breed has been revived through the development of a local market for rare breed meat and by exporting quality hams to Spain. In southern Spain, quality traditional production never went out of fashion. For centuries, the foraging of the Iberian pig, alongside the grazing of cattle, sheep and goats, has helped to mould a landscape of great ecological importance. The pigs are fattened on acorns that have a similar fat content to olive oil. The more acorns the pigs eat, the higher the price they fetch. Pigs can be reared on a number of different systems. The choice of system has important implications for animal welfare. 
Many societies are now demanding higher welfare standards for pig production. Farming can be more humane, and higher welfare standards can be provided on both indoor and outdoor units. Systems of good agricultural practice are being developed in several countries across the world and have been shown to be economic. Humane and sustainable farming with high standards of animal welfare can produce safe, high quality food, protect the environment and secure rural livelihoods. Parce qu'on est parti dans une dérive qui est une dérive quand même très industrialisée et qui aujourd'hui, à mon sens, ne va pas forcément avec acceptabilité et durabilité. So I believe anyone who is going into farming these days should be looking at adding value through good husbandry. This is coming back to a sustainable, caring, but logic and science-based farming. And I think that, frankly, is the only solution. I think my advice to young people going into farming is to enjoy it. But also take your values with you. Don't farm in a way that you don't feel is right for you. It's about us taking responsibility for our own farming and for actually engaging with the public so that they will support us over time.